Hey everybody, this is Dan and Chase from Adventure Harley Davidson again in Parts and Accessories. Today we want to talk to you about LED lighting. Uh, summer is here and actually we've gotten through the middle of summer and the days are starting to get shorter so it's a great opportunity as we go into fall and late summer to talk about LED lighting because it makes it much more easier for you to see. It also adds visibility to your bike and a safety element to the bike as well. So we're going to talk about Custom Dynamics today. Custom Dynamics offers a ton of different options for the bikes out there. Their products also carry a lifetime warranty on them. It's a great, great warranty and they're a high quality product. They offer a lot of options that we don't carry in stock. So what we're going to talk about today is products that are most popular, that we get most call for from Custom Dynamics, as well as the products that, are, that we carry in stock. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Chase to talk about headlights. Yep, so we're going to start off talking about the new Custom Dynamics Halo series headlights and passing lights. So these are very, very innovative lighting products here. So with these, when you turn your ignition on, you're going to get a solid halo around the outside edge of it here. It's going to be a nice, clean projector. It's a, it's a cool look on the motorcycle. Um, and then, of course, one of the neat things with Custom Dynamics lighting as well, on a traditional headlight, when you go from low beam to high beam, the low beam will shut off, and of course, the high beam comes on. What the custom dynamics headlights the low beam will actually stay lighted as you turn the high beam on and of course to keep things matching on a motorcycle we got to have the passing lights to go along with it so same concept as a headlight whenever we turn on our um, ignition the outer halo is going to light up um, again it's going to be a very really, really really cool look on the motorcycle um, custom dynamics also is offering in the five and three quarter headlight as well for our dyna and soft tail models and some of the other sport older sportsters or uh, soft tails as well sorry um, when it comes to headlights, you'll see a lot of people look at lumens and whatnot. Custom Dynamics actually doesn't get too carried away when it comes to lumen ratings because, well, you'll look online, you'll see a lot of false information. It's, it's not always about the lumen. It equals out to the quality of the headlight. So if you're looking to upgrade your headlight products, the new Halo series from Custom Dynamics is a great, great lighting option. That's not going to break the bank. Um, and it goes really, really nice with the Halo turn signals as well, which I do believe Dan's going to talk about. So what I am going to talk about is turn signals. The first thing I'm going to start with is the bullet style lenses. These are offered in an 1156 and an 1157 style bulb. They are a printed circuit board. You can see the way they're made. They have a ceiling ring around them. These lights, when they're in the bike, light up with a halo around them. On the rear, it's red. On the front, it's white. On the rear, when they light up, they turn red. On the front, when they light up, they, and you use your turn signals, they turn amber. They're very, very bright. And they give you a ton of visibility when you're on the bike. Also, you'll see that Custom Dynamics comes with their own lens. These lens have a, a ceiling ring around them to keep the moisture out of the, out of the lens as well, or out of the, the housing as well. These are great for your bike, and again, they carry a lifetime warranty. If you happen to have a bike that has the flat style lenses, Custom Dynamics offers an option for that as well. As you can see, it's a plate that goes in. Again, it's a plug and play option. They have the red lenses for the back and the, and the clear or smoke lens for the front. And with the flat lenses, they also come with this little ceiling kit. It has a ceiling O-ring to go around the lens, and it also has O-rings to go around the screws that hold the flat lenses in. Again, these are great options for your bike, and they offer them for a, a wide range of motorcycles. So with that, I'm going to turn it back over to Chase to talk about lower fairing and windshield trim lights. Yep, so these are some of the more innovative products from Custom Dynamics. Um, simply put, most of you are probably familiar with the windshield trim, and well, when we say that, you're probably thinking just a nice clean chrome trim or maybe solid black, something along those lines. But of course, um, in tune with getting more lighting on a motorcycle, Custom Dynamics released their lighted windshield trim. So they offer it in two different varieties, of course, chrome and black, um, but also in the flashing pattern. So with these guys here, all four of the rows of LEDs are going to light up as running lights, of course, in a white whenever you turn your ignition on. And as soon as you hit your turn signals, the left or outer or right outer two are going to start flashing. So in the sequential pattern, they're going to flash in a sequential manner. And for those of you that don't, that don't know, easiest way to explain it is um, the back of a Mustang taillight system, how they flash in a, a fluttering pattern. They also offer it in a standard flash as well. So when you hit your turn signal, both lights just start solidly flashing. So when I said innovative products, what I was really mostly talking about is the lower fairing insert light. So on our 14 and later touring models with lower fairings, the little vent in the front side of them there, this is a replacement for that. That lens is going to, or not lens, but that vent's going to pop out and this is going to pop back in in place of it. So with this here, again, with getting more lights on the motorcycle, especially in running lights, this whole outer D shape here is going to light up as a white light. And then when you hit your turn signal, they're going to start flashing yellow as another turn. So these are both great products to get a little bit more lighting on the front of the motorcycle. Um, as Dan said, we're getting later into the season, so being seen on the motorcycle in the late evenings uh, past dusk is really, really important. So um, besides getting some lights on the front of the motorcycle, lighting up the entire motorcycle, I'll let Dan talk about. So we're also going to talk about underglow lights. Again, there's a lot of options when it comes to underglow lights, just from adding a couple of strips over the engine or something like that to make the to highlight the engine or something like that. 
Again, there's these options out there, and what we typically use is the Magical Wizard kit. This is a full bike kit. We actually have one of the bikes behind us that has this kit on it. It's just flashing in a pattern. This bike's actually not Bluetooth to a phone right now, but they give you a lot of options. So when you turn this light on, this light kit on, you can Bluetooth it to your phone, and it actually has three different sections, the front, middle, and rear of the bike that you can change the patterns on. Uh, there's a lot of different options in the patterns. It has a color wheel that you can move around and get all kinds of different colors out of, literally thousands of different shades of colors. It also has an option that when you hit the brake light, if your LED lights are on, the underglows are on, the whole bike lights up red, which is a great element of safety if you're out on the road. This is a great way to customize the bikes, and one of the really cool things about this is because they're LED lights, there's not a lot of amperage draw. So, for example, we'll run this bike all day with the underglows on it, and tonight we'll plug it into a battery tender. But if at any point during the day you want to come start this bike, you can. It doesn't put so much drain on the battery that it'll pull the battery down in a couple hours. We can actually run the LEDs on this light on this bike for eight or nine hours and the bike will still start without any trouble. The other thing is on the app that they give you, it actually gives you a battery life um, or battery health um, reading on it. So if you have these on and you're out walking around somewhere, it'll actually flag that if you're, that your battery is starting to get low on voltage and let you know that you may be in jeopardy of the bike night starting. So there are a lot of different options with these and, and they give a lot of different functions for you. So we would urge you to take a look at these as well. Great for customization as well as safety on your bike. And again, we're going to get towards the, the back of the bike and Chase is going to talk about taillights. Yeah guys, so what we've got here today is going to be the Custom Dynamics Pro Beam Collection on their taillights. So as you can see here, they offer it in two different varieties. First off, it's maybe kind of hard to see in the video, but you have your low profile lens. It's kind of cut back um, to kind of flow with the fender a little bit more versus the square back lens, which of course is what comes stock on your motorcycle. So these are complete LED replacements, plug and play for our motorcycles. Um, they also offer it in a smoked lens, of course, it's going to light up red. And they, one of the more neat products that they came out with recently is um, to explain on our on our touring models um, with equipped with tour packs you do the tour pack detach kits you actually get the license plate bracket that maintains it mounted up top well, a lot of customers like to flip it down low want well, to help take care of that custom dynamics again release their pro beam collection that actually has a lighted windshield light or windshield light <laughs> got other lights on the mind a lighted license plate light at the bottom of it that is going to of course illuminate the license plate so you can put it underneath the tail lights a little bit cleaner look um, again, these taillights are 100% plug, plug and play, featuring a lifetime warranty available in a red or a smoked lens. The layback lens versus a square back, um, lighted light or license plate light, up top, down low, no light. They have it in a multiple different fashion so that no matter what we're doing to your motorcycle, we'll be able to get you an LED taillight that's really um, bright and a great product. They also offer, um, for our street glide models, it actually doesn't have a taillight on the back. It just has the two turn signals who are dual functioning as running lights and brake and turn. Um, it's an add-on tail lights, just a little mini guy. They also offer it in a full size one, I believe, but it's a quick, easy way to get a little bit more lighting on the back of the motorcycle. Um, the tail lights again are great for us. And, uh, we'll talk about some more rear lighting with Dan. So also what we have to talk about is the filler lights. So if you have a later model, again, ultra or something like that, that has the tour pack on it and has the openings between the saddlebag and the fender, these are a great addition to the bike. They come in a red and a smoke. They work as a run brake turn, and like most of Custom Dynamics products, they're a plug and play. There's no cutting your wiring, nothing like that. They go in very quick, very easy, and they plug in very quick and very easy. We also have the tail light, or the saddlebag lights. As you can see, these are very, very narrow. Again, they're offered in a, in a red and a smoke. These are a plug and play option for the bike. When you put these on the bike and you put them right up at the bottom of the saddlebag lid, they just kind of hide and disappear on the bike. They're really, really cool. Also, these work as a run brake turn, and like the windshield trim that Chase talked about earlier, these are offered in a sequential pattern. So they'll start at the inside and move out as the turn signals are flashing. Goes a long way towards getting somebody's attention if they're actually behind you. That motion really catches people's eyes. So it's a great element of safety, and they're really, really cool. Again, like I said, they're a plug and play option. They're very easy to install on the bike. They have a high quality 3M double-sided adhesive on the back to put them on the saddlebags and they're a great addition to your bike. So lastly, what we're going to talk about is the modules that Custom Dynamics offers and Chase is going to cover those with you as well. Yep, so um, to start off to add LED bikes to the, or LED lights to your bikes are extremely easy on our models with CAN bus lighting. So I'd be talking our 14 and later Touring, our 2012 and later Softtails, 14 and later Sportsters, and 2011 and later Dyna models. You can plug in LED lights with no issues whatsoever, but uh, many of you may be familiar with the Hyper Flash. So what happens on an older model is if you put LEDs on it, 
Um, your bike essentially thinks you have a missing bulb because the voltage draw isn't 12 volts anymore. So of course your lights are going to hyper flash. So Custom Dynamics has some fixes for that along with some other modules. So to start off with the hyper flash, we just got our signal stabilizer. So these are nice, quick, easy installs for you. Up underneath the seat on most of our bikes, there's a lighting plug for your rear lighting. We just unplug that, plug this jumper in place of it here. And this module is just going to correct the bike's voltage um, so that it no longer thinks that it has a missing bulb. And then of course your turn signals are going to flash nice and normal on you. Um, now Custom Dynamics also offered what they had as their triple play module. Um, with a triple play module on the rear end for the bikes who have single filament turn signals, um, again like our older soft tails and our older touring and so or dynas and such, um, the outer turn signals only operate as turn signals. So the only running light you have on the back of the bike is the center tail light and sometimes the lower um, fender tip lighting. So long story short, to get the triple play module, it is going to allow them outer turn signals to also function as running lights and brake. So you'll get the triple function out of them. So when you turn your ignition on, all three lights in the back are going to light up. Um, the module will also allow you to adjust the intensity on the um, turn signals so that they can match the intensity of the tail light. So it's a really, really nice product. Um, and Custom Dynamics also offers a strobe module. So the same thing I assume some of you have seen on the back of the motorcycles when people hit their brakes, how they flash. So with the strobe module, it's the same concept as the triple play and the signal stabilizer. It just plugs in up underneath of your seat. Um, just a quick, easy jumper. And then at that point, you'll have 10 settings with a little dial. You can make it where it flashes three times and then it goes solid. You can make it where it hyper flashes the entire time. You're applying the brake to the back of the motorcycle. So of course, it's just going to be that much more lighting for the rear end um, to keep you nice and safe. So a lot of customers love these products, and well, what ends up happening, you end up with one, two, three modules underneath your seat. So Custom Dynamics noticed that, and what they did, they actually came out with their all-in-one load stabilizer, triple play module, and flash module all-in-one. So same thing, this will plug in no different than the other modules up underneath your seat to your rear taillight harness. This module is going to do all the functionality we just talked about, all in one single piece right here. Um, a nice thing with them as well, when they plug in, they actually come with a couple extra pigtails. So these would actually be to go in use for maybe a set of filler lights or something along those lines. The main reason there is so that you don't end up with a goobal wiring up underneath your seat. Of course, Custom Dynamics is trying to make it nice and easy on you. And no different than the lights, these modules offer a lifetime warranty. Um, as well as with all the other custom dynamics products. So again, if we're looking to light up your motorcycle, you couldn't be talking about a better company to deal with and products to get from them. Um, otherwise, I, unless I got, Dan's got more to say. Um, so we're just gonna close it out. As you can see, we have a lot of different custom dynamics products in stock. This is not everything that we actually carry in the dealership. We have some other products here. Also, there are just a ton of products out there that you can order. So, like the filler lights that I talked about earlier, the ones that I showed you are for the 14 and up bikes. If you have a 13 and older bike, uh, there are options out there. They have a bracket that will go in with a different lens that will go in, and you can put filler lights in those bikes as well, even the older bikes. We've done some LED lights on really what I would call older bikes, which is clear back into the 90s. There are options out there. So, if you're interested in LED lights and making your bike safer, giving it a custom look, being more visible, um, visibility to oncoming traffic and other traffic around you, these are great options. Give us a call, stop in and see us. There's just a ton of options out there. We co covered custom dynamics today and in a future video we're going to talk about the LED offerings that Harley-Davidson actually has as well. So look for that coming up.